Hello everyone, we are Sorted Food. Welcome to Fridge Cam. And this week we are stepping up to the plate. One of two trained chefs and one of three normal guys will be picked at random to work together to create an attention-grabbing, head-turning dish. There will be prerequisites. Time limits. One minute remaining. Mystery ingredients. All tied together by a shameless internet-y challenge. But who will it be today? We're quite understaffed today because Jamie is doing this. And the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. And James is in Norway. Doing this. <laughs> So it's just you, Ebers. So I am the chef, but I get to pick a normal, so... It is Barry. I'm in! Sorry, mate, you gotta sit this one out. I'm sat all of them out. <laughs> this week's focus at Sorted has been pasta, which will have to be the centerpiece of the boys' dish. As a result, Ben is worried that the potential meal-type choices could hamper their chances of success. Don't can, think. If you can we do sweet, sweet, I'm not impressed. <laughs> Sorry! <laughs> there are some amazing ingredients over there, and we've got to do something sweet. There's a store cupboard there full of like cocoa and stuff. Oh. Meal time. Can this help? I don't know. <laughs> dinner. So I guess it's dessert. Sweet pasta for dinner. With what already seems a difficult challenge ahead, it's now time for Ben and Barry to step up to the plate. Pressing their genitals together, oh, however, cool. was their own choice. <gasps> don't. F word it up. You got your thumb over that bit. Oh, sorry. Today you must create a pasta based dish for a 16 time Michelin star chef, Ga G Gordon? Gordon Ramsay. Photograph it and post it to his notorious Twitter account for abuse, no doubt. If you can get him to positively comment on it, you win at life for one day. Use all means necessary. I've seen some of these Twitter abuse and they are ridiculous. <laughs> Mate, sweet pasta for Gordon Ramsay. This is the one chance you've got to impress a Michelin star chef. Let's do this! Oh. <laughs> the absolute lads will have full access to the sorted food larder, which contains a plethora of decadent edible, of decadent edible, which contains lots of different ingredients, including types of pasta. I actually don't like, why do we even have sweet in there as an option? I can't, genuinely can't, look, we've got scallops, we've got <laughs> crabs, smoky bacon, salami, here, beautiful beef. Us? After the overwhelming disappointment of having to do sweet pasta, I'm now willing to accept the challenge and we're going to nail it. Almy? Yep. Does he like sweet pasta? <laughs> Don't. <laughs> I'll tell you what, one thing I'm always getting mixed up with is cannelloni and what's cannoli. the other one? Cannoli. So let's just merge the two. To make things even trickier, the boys can't seem to agree on the direction of their dish. Chocolate pasta I like. A chocolate pasta. No, I mean, we've done chocolate pasta before. Ramsay loves, and I've seen him do it se several times, lobster ravioli and things like that. So let's do an incredible, like, ravioli. Uh, I'm with you. Cold, not lobster. But instead of the sweet meat of lobster, we can do a sweet filling of something else. Do chocolate... Parsnips do... are sweet. Carrots are sweet. No, that's not what I was saying. Carrots are... Oh, carrot cake. No. I want to find somewhere to put that. We've got ghee in the fridge. We'll make something that's spiced and sweet and sticky, and we'll put it inside of pasta and see where that takes us. With the chai custard, like we can. You're saying we, things. We can do this. Okay, here's what we're going for. We're going for an XXL classic perfect pasta ravioli, and the filling is going to be a sweet Indian carrot dessert known as a hal halwa, sitting on a custard a chai custard, and on top of that is a caramelised white chocolate. How chefy does that sound? Tasty, I have no idea, but it sounds chefy. You have one hour and 15 minutes from now. No pressure, oh, no. but I've already cooked for him once. Wait, and he really whoa, whoa, enjoyed whoa, whoa, that. Whoa, 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 when was this? When I was younger, younger than I'm now. I'm on 100% record so far. Getting aggressive is getting into character. <laughs> Cooking's all about ratios. I've never made this before, but the ratio appears to be one to one for carrot to milk. You basically cook carrots grated in milk, reduce it down so the milk evaporates, and then at the end, butter and sugar and spices and nuts and seeds and whatever we can find in the store cupboard. The bit I'm scared of with pasta is there's nothing to hide behind. It's very, very simple. The gap has taught me there's 100 grams of flour to one egg and a pinch of salt, but it depends on the size of the egg. And it's one of those things, you're looking for the consistency of dry Play-Doh, but it's very easy to get wrong. It's all about the feel and practice. And I have not practiced this. 
Is that enough? <laughs> the things he reacts to the most are things that stuff that, that go wrong. So we need to make this look rubbish, but actually, but we want win a, on we want a positive response, not a oh, Mickey cool. take response. That was what the card said. So the plan is we're going to have our sweet, rich, coconutty filling inside of our pasta dumpling, whether it's tortini or ravioli, sitting on custard. So I'm going to make a creme anglaise, four egg yolks, about 400 ml of double cream and milk as a combo, about two thirds double cream, a third milk. But I'm going to infuse that first with chai spices. I'm still making pasta. Yes, good pasta takes time. Just in case you wanted some motivation, I've captured some of his finest tweets uh, answering people's food. Your fire alarm battery needs changing. This is what my brother expects me to eat tonight. Help. Looks like one week old puke. Spag box. Our crunch point is going to be this carrot filling because I don't know how much time we've got left, but I'm not sure it's enough. This is supposed to be a long, slow cook. But hey, we'll see. I'm just worried that he's making it too internet -y. I know we're supposed to be working as a team, but I don't think Ramsey wants, like, XXL. That's when we're going to get the abuse. I think he wants... No, we need, we need this video to go viral first, then he might see it. Then he'll go, you know what, I see what they're doing. He'll respect the fact we're going for the views, because so is he. Custard. 40 minutes left. Barry's made pasta and wrapped it up. While you're messing around with that, they haven't stopped the timer. You know that, don't you? So just to clarify, what I'm doing here is uh, I'm not happy with my current chef, so I'm watching sorted videos and working out what James does to caramelise his white chocolate with a microwave because Ben doesn't know how. You really are seeing the full spectrum of Ben's emotions here. He went from a bit nervous at the beginning to really excited to now infuriated because Barry's not here and he's being really slow. Baz, can you multitask? Nope. Can you stir this while you're watching that? He said nope. Because I'd really like to do some other components for the dish while you're just watching YouTube. Don't scramble the custard. I'm being serious. <laughs> we haven't got enough eggs to go again. Uh, then I've got to make some caramelised wild chocolate. Can you keep stirring? Yes. Thank you. As long as you haven't made me. Oh, you've... I did what you said. It's I stirred. in the corners. OK. Creme anglaise. Thickened. Strain off any scrambled egg. Our carrot filling. Now we're going to add some ghee, some sugar. It's already got cardamom in there. We'll go in with sultanas and some cashew nuts. Ben, it's, I think it's worked. So what I've got, I've got some white chocolate that I've microwaved to the point, in first thing first, so it starts to burn and caramelise. I've chopped up some apricots to stay in with our Indian theme. Plan it out a little bit. Do you know what? In that case, I might not need these. What are you doing? I'm going to do some caramelised breadcrumbs. Hey, you, do you know up, what? Do if, you, both, if you've got both. yours, we might not need it. Do 21 minutes remaining. Yep. OK, I'm doing this in ghee. So this was an idea we stole, I mean, used from desserts and duvets. It was a Dutch thing, caramelised breadcrumbs, sugar, butter, breadcrumbs. But I've used the bread from the table and some ghee to keep it with a kind of Indian theme. My pasta has now rested. Now it's time to roll it out. And that's, this is the point where you see how good this pasta actually is. And if it starts to tear on the place, it means I've gone and screwed it up. Frozen berries from the freezer, I'm just going to warm those through with lots of black pepper and a little bit of sugar. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. I was there. Oh, what are you doing? Ah! You grabbed it. You panicked. We don't need that bit, that bit's fine. Right, bring it over to where we do need it. So close. Nice and gentle. So close. Or take that bit off. Oh, you've got 13 minutes remaining. So that was the plate you put in the freezer. We're just mm -hmm. going to quickly cool down our carrot filling. Pasta's good to go. Boiling water is here. Salt it. OK, now it's assembly time. We've got our pasta, we've got our filling. Our custard is also done. Our breadcrumbs, our white chocolate. This is going to be unreal. You have four and a half minutes remaining. Feel free to start panicking. Two minutes remaining. One minute remaining. Fifteen seconds remaining. 
Just underneath, we've got that one. 10, it's on the plate. 9, it's on, the top, on top, on top. 7, don't put it on top. I went on top. Don't put it on top. I'm putting it on top. Five, on top. Oh, three, it's going to melt with the heat. 2, you know oh. 1. Time's uh, up. The boys photographed their creation in preparation for Gordon's judgment before the climatic presentation of their final dish. Oh. Dear Chef Ramsay, this has been inspired by one of your great escapes. But for being honest, it's been more of a kitchen nightmare. Yeah, I got paired with Master Chef Junior here, but together we have crafted a handmade ravioli stuffed with the F word. Flavour? It's sultana and cashew however, spiked with cardamom, nestled on chai creme anglaise with caramelised white chocolate, chopped pistachios and crispy ghee crumbs. Now, we would love an honest response from you. Is this worthy of a Michelin star or are we just a pair of idiot sandwiches? But since Gordon isn't here to judge whether it's worthy of a star, we'll get our own Michelin man in. Come have a taste. Oh! Oh! oh. <laughs> Well, it looks great, and also I am not as fat as I used to be, so... Or as me, no. so that's fine. <laughs> the flavours here with the crunch, I really hope it delivers. The great thing about this is I have no idea what this is going to taste like. I have no preconceptions. And that is absolutely delicious. I thought the pasta would be weird in a sweet dish. It's not. It's quite a Christmas here, isn't it? I was just going to say... It reminds me, I couldn't remember why everyone said it. It reminds me of the... Um, like a mince pie, like spiced. Because of the sultanas and there's a little bit of spice in the cardamom. But it's the chai that brings it all together. That is absolutely delicious. I'm not going to lie, I think we could probably play with the plating a bit more. I feel like it's not plated at Michelin level. But the flavours... Mm -hmm. Well, it tastes stunning. We need to make sure it gets to him. So far, we have failed dismally trying to get to these celebrities, so we really need your help. Please, find this tweet, retweet it, send it to Gordon, get him seeing this dish. If you're eating in one of his restaurants, then tell a member of staff to share it with Gordon. Or given the athlete that he is, we know that past the dishes to be in just ahead of a marathon. Make sure you tell him if you're running with him. And if you really enjoyed this video, please give it a like, let us know, put a comment down below, share it to other people who aren't Gordon Ramsay. But go on, go on then. Give us a tweet. Go on, go on. Go on, go on. Go on. Go on. Two for two. Right, pasta week, absolutely nailed it. Well happy with my pasta right at the end there. Yep. Seeing as we are talking about pasta week this week, you can find a whole load of amazing pasta recipes from us in the comment section down below. No, in the description! I meant the description! <laughs> if you want to learn how to make perfect pasta every time, our mate Vicky Appers has done a workshop on it, and you can go check it out downstairs as well. But that's it for another week. Please remember to comment down below, like the video, and we will see you next week. And ring that bell, ring the bell. Ring that bell. Click on the left if you missed our last video, or click on the right video for one of our favourites. <laughs>